today we are going to be making cards and a folder to put them in. Anyone would love to get this as a gift. The belly band slides off. Inside this great holder are four cards that coordinate. They are embellished and then you have matching envelopes. What a great idea that anyone would love to get. Let's get started on how to make these. We're going to begin with the folder. Six by 11 inch piece of paper that we are going to score at three and an eighth inch, three and a half inches. <laughs> it's got stuff stuck in there. We're going to score at three and an eighth inch, three and a half inches, eight inches, and three and three eighths inches. Taking the larger end of that, using the adorning accents and the Big Shot, go ahead and run it through the Big Shot. It looks like this. Folding on the score lines, you can begin to see the box taking shape. We need to do the sides here. So just like it has on here, it has sides. We're going to make the sides next. This is one and an eighth inch by two and five eighths inches. Scoring it at three fourths inches. Turning it all the way around and scoring it again at three fourths inches until both your pieces look like this. We're going to put sticky strip on them so they look like this. Taking the sticky strip off, then putting it on the bottom, lining it up, we have the box. The box is complete. I'm going to decorate the front with a piece that is two and a half inches by five and a half inches of the Comfort Cafe designer series paper that the box looks like this at the end. For the belly band, you take a one and a half inch piece of cardstock by 11 inches. We're going to score this at two and five eighths. All right, there's five eighths. Two and five eighths, three inches. Seven and a half inches and then seven and seven eight inches. Put some sticky strip on one end. Then we're going to fold it over our box and adhere it. Coordinating colors for this designer series paper are Midnight Muse, Cajun Craze, and also the Summer Starfruit. I cut these out using the Big Shot and the floral frames out of the biggest flower that looks like this, the next size, and then the smallest size. So the three smallest sizes of the floral frames. Then using the fan um, embossing folder, ran them through the Big Shot and embossed them. 
so that they have some nice texture. You're able to do those all three at the same time through the embossing folder. Some And then using the vintage faceted buttons and a glue dot, maybe even a couple, put it on there. I want a little bit more bling in there, so I put a rhinestone inside, a couple of more dimensionals, and put it on the belly band. There you go, it is all ready for your cards. Very nice. For the cards, it is very vanilla cardstock, an eight and a half by 11 sheet cut in half. So it's five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Scored in the center to make a standard size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Using the same designer series paper, and more vanilla cardstock, a two inch by three inch piece of vanilla cardstock was cut out, and then a two and a quarter piece by three and a quarter piece of matching designer series paper. Using the stippled blossoms stamp set, which I thought echoed some of the flowers in there, we're going to stamp using pool party first. Three of the flowers. This is a two stamp. Two, two step stamping technique. Midnight Muse is next then. And we're going to stamp that right on top. Nice crisp image, it looks so pretty. To finish it, we're going to use soft suede with the leaves. I want to use only the soft suede. I want a lighter color to begin with though, so I'm going to stamp it off. Now I'm going to use a so, you know, kind of full strength here for this. And there is the image, the stamped image that we're using. Snail on the back. And now the two inch by three inch is put on the designer series paper that is two and a quarter by three and a quarter. A piece of soft suede cardstock was cut at three and a quarter by four and a half. Run through the fan embossing folder. And now we're going to put some dimensionals on the back. Which goes right on top now of the embossed image. Some sticky strip on the back to make sure it stays on the card forever and ever. And this stuff does stay, so once you decide where you want it to go, I hope you're happy with it. There is the card. The four cards, matching envelopes, and the, what's this called? <laughs> card holder, <laughs> folder with that. Okay, what I want to do, if you'd like, you don't have to, but if you want to add just a little bit more, you can put some bling in the center of your flowers with the rhinestones to help match the rhinestone in the center of the belly band. Go out.
can make these. You can use any color of cardstock that you want that matches some designer paper. Have fun with it. Change it up a little bit. Enjoy. Thanks for joining me.